Hello, Eastern fans, and welcome to At the Half. I'm joined here today by Eastern head football coach Billy Crocker. Billy, thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your very busy schedule to talk to us today. Absolutely. Anytime. Pleasure. Coach, you've had two plus weeks with these guys. We've gone from this dream and putting this together to now you guys have actually been doing it. Kind of talk about that's been like these two weeks to actually be playing football and putting things together, putting together defenses, offenses, instead of just talking about it. Talk yeah, about it. Yeah, no, it's it's been very surreal, um, and um, you know we're, we're excited that it, it got here. So we've been going for literally literally about um, exactly a month now. Yeah. Um, you know when they reported on August seventeenth um, to where we are, and, and we're finally in our brand new locker room for the first yes. time yesterday, um, which was a long time coming, and the guys did a great job adjusting with. You know our schedule and the construction they've had to deal with up there and it's been a reward for them so the weight room up there is about done um the the locker room is done and they're in that fully um but the, but it's been a process and the guys have done a great job our numbers are still super high right. um which has been great but they're they're progressing you know we about two weeks ago we had our first little scrimmage inner squad and you know th there were some baby steps and then a, a week ago last saturday we had another second scrimmage um, and we saw some big steps being taken um, on both sides of the football, um, a lot of plays being made. So we're happy with the progress that we've made in, in such a short period of time. Do you feel like you have settled in as the head coach? Obviously, you've been around football a long time, but talk about how you have settled in as the head coach of this program. Yeah, from a football standpoint, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all the other things, um, you know, that kind of come up on a day-to-day -day basis that really have nothing to do with football. Um, you know, just getting our schedules together and our schedules out right. in the future. And then, you know, all the other things that we deal with on campus, you know what I mean? Just from, you know, making sure we're doing what we need to do academically and socially and all those things that, you know, our guys are following through on the things that we're preaching both on and off the field. You talked about the progression. I know you have some kids who've played football for a long time. You have some other kids who are relatively new. Kind of talk about what you've seen for both of those groups and talk about that progression. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they're all, you know, they're all freshmen, right. <laughs> you know, so they're youngsters. all they're all young guys. And, you know, we started everyone from as basic as you can get. We, right. we assume nothing you know that they don't have have any knowledge of, of things walking in the door and that's the approach that we've taken and we've started again from from square one and we've progressed very slow to get right. where we are um, I know some of the assistant coaches would like to be further along you know from an installation standpoint right. and things but we, we just really need to take it slow and really focus on the fundamentals of football right focus on the specific techniques because I think if you can get those things done, right. it'll lead to the bigger picture. Um, but again, we, we work on everything. And again, it's not just football. It's preaching, the, preaching to them how, how they need to act on campus right. and, and what's expected of them and where they need to be academically with things here at a school like Eastern. How do you think the progression of the culture you're trying to build is going on with a new program, all new kids? whole new coaching staff, everything's still brand new. How do you feel like they are progressing with the culture you're trying to establish? I think I think they are progressing. Um, it's, it's a work in progress constantly. It's a work in progress no matter where you are. Right. Even at an established program, it's always a work in progress. Um, so it is, <laughs> it is just that, a work right. in progress with, you know, again, I think from a university standpoint too, you know, and, and just realizing that things aren't going to be where they need to be overnight right. um, and they never will be you know what i mean right. but it, it's a teaching progression both on the field and off the field and but i do think the team is receptive and right. they are trying absolutely talk about the buy-in from the players i obviously your coaching staff is also really strong with i could list all the names but those guys have really come together everything i've seen the couple of practices that i've witnessed those guys really know football and know what they're talking about. How, talk about how those guys have kind of meshed and what this coaching staff has been for you here in your first go. Yeah, no, they've been fantastic. I, I think all of them are home run hires, bringing them into this program. And, you know, more so than what they know football-wise, right. um, they're great men, number one. Um, and, and they have, and they do a great job relating with our players, you know, and, and getting our guys to believe in them and trust them. And, you know, they, you know, a lot of them have, you know, all of them have played the sport and some have played at a super high level. So, you know, there's some validity to what they're, what they're selling to our players and our players see that and they're buying into it. Hard to believe that we're a week away from you guys actually playing. Is is there is a depth chart kind of coming into focus now? I know you probably can't go into a whole lot of things. Don't want to give things away, but is it starting to solidify here as yeah, we get closer? Yeah, a little bit, and that's not really my goal. Right. Um, you know, for these, and these are, 
you know, they are games against another opponent, but they are really exhibitions, you know, for the most part, and, you know, sort of scrimmage-ish right. type games. So, you know, there are depth charts, but my goal is to get everybody action. Right. Um, I think the guys deserve that at this point. Right. A lot, all, they've all worked really hard during during this past month, and they all deserve to get on the field. So that that's going to be the approach. It's not going to be... We need to go out and win um, or put as many points on the board as we can or, or prevent points from getting on the board. It's going to be about us and about our growth more than it is about anything else. Um, and my philosophy is the more guys you can give roles to, the better we're going to be long term. Right. So my, my eyes are on the future, um, not necessarily on you know what might be coming immediately down the road you know, from a game standpoint. Next, next Sunday. How you feeling? Nervous? Excited? You ready to go? What's, yeah. what's, what's, what's kind of the mentality with you right now? Because you guys have been putting in the work this past month. You're seeing the progression. You know, how nervous are you excited for you for next Sunday? Yeah, I think it's it's more just a reward uh, for the players. You know what I mean? I think I'm ready for – they're ready to hit somebody else, um, you know, versus each other, which they've been doing for the last – you know, month or so, which is always the case in preseason camp, right. you know, so, um, and I think they just want to go out and, and work together versus working against each other, like, like we've been doing in practice, you know, offense and defense, so, um, you know, I'm excited for them, for, for, for something to be, you know, sort of a, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, per se, for the players. Gotcha. And then all this is in preparation for next year. How are you guys preparing for it? It's always going to be a tough MAC. We've got our schedule for 23, uh, full on in the MAC. And, you know, you look up and down. And, and every, especially for us early in this process and being a new program, week in, week out, it's going to be a battle um, for us to, uh, you know, compete in this conference versus, versus a lot of these programs who are well established, who are historic, right. um, historically done a great job. Um, you know, and have a tradition already, and that's something that we're that we're building. So, um, you know, we're, we're 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 our eyes are there, but right now our eyes are worried about our guys and getting them better, and then recruiting the next class to add to this crew to to make us stronger. You know, as we go into the MAC in 2023. Coach Billy Crocker, thank you so much for joining us today. And now back to your game. Thanks, Sean.